Hello guys and very welcome to this channel and to this little update on my Volkswagen Golf City Strummer. So this is what I have done this week. So as you can see here I have started to degrease the gearbox. It was a lot of oil and uh, grease on it. I mean, it's been running for some years. So it definitely needs some good cleaning here. And when the most of the grease was gone there, I just pressure washed it, so I also could remove all the dust and the sand particles. And when that part was over, I throwed it into the sand blasting cabinet. But sadly, it did not turn out the way that I had hoped for. The gearbox was not looking as good as I had expected. So I just coated it with one layer of silver metallic and after that I did two layers of clear coat over everything. But I did not paint the screws. I had removed them before and I just had some other screws to hold the gearbox here together during the paint job. And then I also just painted the screws and the details on it. And after that I just installed everything. So now when it's painted it looks much better. And together with those screws that are separately painted. I have to say that uh, I am pretty pleased with it. And now it's time to install it on the leaf motor. So I have just a center pipe here, so it will be easier to find the, uh, or line the axles up here. And uh, now my plan is just to mark where the shaft will go out through this plate. And uh, I will just take away that piece of aluminium. And uh, now when that is done, I have installed it again. And uh, here you can see that I now have another problem. So. The dry shaft will interfere with the motor itself here, so I um, need to grind this out to leave some space for the drive shaft. But I'm a little concerned about those water channels here because I don't want to grind through them because then I have a new bigger problem than this, I guess. So anyway, I just started to grind everything here. So here is how it looks now afterwards and uh, you can see that we have a lot of more space here but I need to install the drive shaft itself here just to make sure that it are it is completely free
so I only tighten two bolts here and uh, here you can see the clearance between the shaft and the motor and it's really close but it's enough and I maybe have to remove some more materials here later on when I have adjusted the angle between the motor and the gearbox because I am not 100% sure where that angle or how that angle will be so I now need to install the gearbox and motor into the car here so that's what I plan to do this weekend but first I have to post this YouTube video of course so I have to see how much time there will be left and by the way you can see that I also have a subframe laying here in front of me and I bought that this week too. I just find that on a site called Blocket. So I jumped into the car and drove for over one hour and picked this up. So it has never been used as you can see. It's brand new but uh, I bought it from a guy who bought it from the store but he never installed it. So it's a second hand but it is brand new and I bought it for a really good price. So that's just fantastic. So now I have new link arms as you did see there maybe in my short video I posted this week. And uh, together with this subframe it will just look amazing when everything is painted in the engine bay here. By the way let's take a look on that engine bay before we wrap this up. Because it is actually a lot of rust here. So that's why I was so happy to find this uh, subframe. So I will just show you guys. So here is the engine bay and you can see that it is a lot of rust in here. And especially on the subframe. So it will be nice to have this subframe changed. And you can see that this part here, this is actually attached to the gearbox, but I had to leave this into the car because I couldn't remove the bolt there. It was totally corroded together with the engine mount. So I will now remove that and uh, also the engine mount itself, of course. And then I will fresh up the steering rack and yeah, everything. But that will, of course, be further away than just this weekend here. All right, I will now try to finish this video up. And uh, after that, I will go out here and uh, try to find the perfect angle between the motor and the gearbox. And if you would like to see more of it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And a huge thank you to all of you who already did that. That really means a lot to me. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, have a great weekend, and I really hope I see you later. Take care and goodbye.